Yo, what up, dog? What's up, broski? Not much. Just listen to that new fire from NBA. Oh, word. Word, no cap. It's a banger. Ha, I have to hear it. That boy the goat. No cap, no cap. Hey, I got a dip, though. I'll catch you later, player. All right, bet. I'll see you. In this video, you and I are going to explore some crazy but commonly used vocabulary among the people of my generation, Gen Z. While it's good to know what these words mean, for a majority of them, I would suggest that you do not use them unless you're talking with somebody who's using them as well. To most people, this vocabulary sounds pretty dumb. Just a warning, lol. I'm Benji, and on this channel, we learn English through interesting topics. Let's get into the video. First, a couple music-related terms. Number one, a bop or a banger. This is a song that the listener finds extremely good. Usually, it refers to a hip-hop or rap song. For example, did you hear NBA Youngboy's new track? That song is a banger. Or that one's a bop. Both ways of saying it's an excellent song. And number two, fire. Another way of saying that something is absolutely amazing. For example, that song is fire. That song is excellent. Or you could even say that outfit is fire, meaning that outfit is excellent. It's amazing. It's wonderful. Now, a couple fashion terms. Number one, drip. Drip is a term that's often used to describe somebody's style in a good way. It's a way of saying that somebody's style is amazing. It's well thought out or that they're wearing high quality clothing. For example, somebody might say, ooh, look at that drip. That jacket is fire. Meaning, look at his style. That jacket is amazing or it's beautiful. And number two, bougie. Bougie is a way of describing something or someone that is pretentious or materialistic. For example, a girl who will only wear luxury brands. Let's say she, from head to toe, she's got Gucci and Louis Vuitton clothing. Somebody might say, man, look at her with all of her Louis and Gucci. She's so bougie. Meaning that she's pretentious or materialistic. Now, a few expressions to talk about truths and falsities. Number one. Cap. A cap is a lie or an exaggeration. For example, everything that she said is cap. Meaning, everything that she said is incorrect. It's a lie or an exaggeration. Or you could just say, she's capping. Meaning, she's lying. Number two, no cap. This means the person is not lying. They're being truthful. For example, no cap, I wish that I would have went to that party. Meaning, in all honesty, I wish that I would have went to that party. And number three, out of pocket, which means that somebody is out of control or is being unreasonable. For example, he just said some racist stuff to Ramon. He's being out of pocket. Meaning, he just said some racist things to Ramon. He is being unreasonable or he is out of control. Now, two words to talk about future actions. One being finna. This is short for fixing to. So some Gen Zer might say, I'm finna go to Harrisburg or I'm finna go to New Jersey, meaning I'm going to go to New Jersey. And number two, bowda, which is short for about to. Somebody might say, I'm about to go to Harrisburg. 
I'm about to go to New Jersey. Or I'm about to go to school, meaning I'm about to go to school. Next, two words for agreements and confirmations. Number one, bet. This can mean, okay, I agree, or I'll do it. For example, yo bro, you want to meet at Sheets at 9? Bet. Meaning, yeah, I'll do that. I'll see you there. And number two, word, which can mean sounds good or I agree. For example, this company doesn't care about any of us. Word, meaning I agree. Next, let's look at some terms we can use to describe our current situation. For example, number one is Gucci, which is a way of saying good, great, or excellent. For example, right now, I'm feeling Gucci, meaning right now, I'm feeling well, I'm feeling great. Number two, high key and low key. High key means seriously or without a doubt. It shows that the person is sure about what they're about to say. For example, I high key don't want to go to work today, which means without a doubt, I really do not want to go to work today. And low key means something like secretly or quietly. For example, low key, I don't feel like going, which means between me and you, I don't want to go. And last lit, which means exciting, fun, or intoxicated. For example, you can say the concert was lit, meaning the concert was excellent or exciting. Or you can say he got lit last night, meaning he got extremely drunk or extremely high. He got extremely intoxicated last night. Now let's look at some negative terms in the Gen Z English. Number one, salty. This means that somebody is angry, upset, or bitter. For example, why is he so salty? Meaning, why is he so upset? Number two, shook, which means surprised or shocked. For example, I heard gunshots, looked around, and saw everyone was shook, which means I heard gunshots, I looked around, and saw everybody was in shock. Everybody was scared. Next, sus, which is short for suspicious. For example, he is acting very sus right now, meaning he is being very suspicious. And lastly, extra, meaning over the top, dramatic, or excessive in some sort of way. For example, his girlfriend calls him every 15 minutes. She is so extra. Meaning, his girlfriend calls him every 15 minutes. She is so over the top. Here's some other weird Gen Z vocab. A stan is like an extreme fan. Maybe somebody who won't miss a certain artist's concert for anything in the world. They need to support the artist. They need to go see the shows. They need to buy the songs on Apple Music. They need to buy the t-shirts. That's a stan. Next, to dip, which means to leave an area. For example, I'm about to dip, which means I'm about to go. Number two, to flex. This means to show off or to boast. For example, Look at him flexing his new car, which means he's trying to show how cool he is for the car that he has. And lastly, to be slept on, which means to be undervalued or overlooked. For example, that rapper is extremely slept on, meaning that rapper is undervalued. Not enough people know how good he is. And lastly, some very commonly used acronyms in Gen Z English. Now, if you don't know, an acronym is basically an abbreviation for something. It shortens something down. So for these acronyms or abbreviations, we got number one, FOMO, meaning fear of missing out. For example, if somebody sees Bitcoin going up and they put all their money into it, 
They're putting their money into it because they have fear of missing out on an opportunity. Number two, GOAT, meaning greatest of all time. This is usually used to describe people's favorite artists, sports players, and other idols that they have. Number three, OP, meaning overpowered. This is mostly used by gamers, but for example, if somebody's playing Call of Duty, they might say, this gun is so OP. This gun is so overpowered. OG, meaning original gangster, is often used to show that somebody has been in an industry for a long time. For example, LeBron James is one of the OGs of basketball. And AF means as fuck, and it's used as an intensifier for sentences. For example, that dude is crazy AF, meaning that man is extremely crazy. I hope that this video helped you understand some of the vocabulary used by Gen Zers. Surely, if you follow some young people on Instagram or on X, you'll see some of these words being used. If you want the flashcards to remember all of the information we went over in this video, go down in the description and become a member today. It was a pleasure seeing you again, friend. Have a wonderful week. Goodbye.